Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Hell on wheel Steve Nutching just decimated everyone who said Trump is a racist. The media may be hounding on Gary Cohn's statement about Trump this morning, but they just got their world rocked by Treasury Secretary Steve Nutchen in today's press briefing. A reporter during the briefing asked Secretary Nutchen, a Jewish former executive at Goldman Sachs if he felt uncomfortable and wanted to resign after Trump's comments on Charlottesville. Bad move. Nutchen shot back saying Trump never equated hate groups to peaceful protesters, unlike Antifa, and that he was never even considering quitting. He told the bloodthirsty reporters. I think there's no question that the president was not equating the hate groups with the people who were peacefully ah, protesting, and under no circumstances was I going to resign. Of course, Secretary Nutchen didn't stop there. He went on to say the media was totally lying by claiming that Gary Cohn was on the brink of resigning after Charlottesville. Gary and I have known each other for 20 years. I can tell you I'm speaking to him every day. His number one focus is absolutely working on tax reform with me and getting tax reform done. Gary's committed to be here and couldn't be more excited about that. Seems pretty straightforward. Clearly, all the media really wants is to label Trump an anti-Semite. Look, if there was any indication he was one, do you think I would be here? As a As a Jew, I have seen zero proof of Trump being an anti-Semitic racist. If anything, he has been more supportive of the Jewish people than any other president in my lifetime. So let's end these nasty rumors once and for all by sharing out Secretary Nutchen's message and leave a God bless America in the comments. Right as Hurricane Harvey hits Texas, Trump caught red-handed doing the incredible. President Trump is traveling to Camp David today as Hurricane Harvey hits the presidential retreat at Camp David. The president and the first lady departed for the country retreat in Thurmon, Maryland. It is just as well resourced as the White House, so he'll have access to anybody. All the communications means that he might need, Homeland Security Advisor Tom Bosser told reporters during a televised briefing. So it's not a trip. I wouldn't characterize it as a trip. This is the third time that Trump has visited the naval facility. He is bringing his family and his daughter Ivanka and Jared Kushner and their grandchildren, Arabella, Theodore, and Joseph, according to Daily Mail. Trump will be able to monitor the storm from Camp David and help keep tabs on the situation. Mike Pence is going to stay behind at the White House. Let's spread Trump's message and pray that everyone stays safe in Texas and the surrounding states that Harvey is about to hit. Share this on your wall. Leave a prayer for the places that are about to get slammed by Hurricane Harvey. Thanks for reading. Counter-Strike Trump just dropped a bomb on McConnell that'll leave him crying on floor. Trump has been battling Majority Leader Mitch McConnell over all the failures in the Senate. He tweeted yesterday that McConnell was a big failure. He is. McConnell said earlier this month that President Trump has excessive expectations and that he is a political novice that doesn't understand Washington. He definitely understands one thing. The Republican president has accused McConnell and Senate Republicans of wasting a bunch of time. He said that Democrats would throw out the filibuster rule the moment they took the Senate and the House. The only problem I have with Mitch McConnell is that, after hearing repeal and replace for seven years, he failed. Trump said. That should never have happened. The president is not happy. He thinks that the Senate Republicans are wasting their time. The tweets show that Trump is not going to back down. Trump went after McConnell and Paul Ryan for not getting the debt limit done fast enough. They didn't do it, Trump heard of his idea. I requested that Mitch M. and Paul R. tie the debt ceiling legislation into the popular VA bill, which just passed, 
for easy approval. They didn't do it so now we have a big deal with Dems holding them up, as usual, on debt ceiling approval. Could have been so easy now MS. Trump wrote in two successive tweets. Share this right now, patriots. The Senate is not doing their damn job. Let's show America that Mitch McConnell is not fit to run the Senate. Get this out there. We need these guys to move and get something done for once in their lives. Listen up, President Trump has a message all Americans need to hear before hurricane tonight. With only hours left to go before the disastrous Hurricane Harvey beats down on Texas and Louisiana, President Trump has issued a message to all Americans, especially the ones about to get hit. Americans can handle anything if we remember to plan ahead. That's right. Trump's message is one of planning for disasters. He is 100% right, too. This country has always been the most successful when we can prevent disasters, not simply solve them as they rise. The video he showed was one of him visiting FEMA, which he has promised the full support and resources of to both Louisiana and Texas. Trump has also mobilized 700 Texas state guards to help prepare for the disaster and provide relief when it has passed. So, with President Trump at the helm and General Kelly directing the staff, I'd say we are pretty well set up for this Category 3 hurricane, or at least as well as we can be. It's still important to see this message get to all the people who need to see it. That's why we need all y'all to share this out everywhere with prayers and see it get to anyone who is gonna be affected. God bless. Hulk smash Trump just gave Lou Ferrigno the best job of his entire life. Forget about starring in The Incredible Hulk, Lou Ferrigno was just given the best job imaginable from President Donald Trump. According to a brand new interview with Daily Mail, Ferrigno has landed himself a job that puts his old career to shame. The Hulk will be the new head of the President's Council on Fitness, Sports and Nutrition. Ferrigno told the Daily Mail in his interview. I am an appointee and I want to be the head of the President's Council on Physical Fitness and Nutrition. I have been corresponding with President Trump because I want to change America and make America healthy again. I am a top choice for them. I feel I am the best candidate for that. Nobody can surpass what I do, especially the life I have lived, what I have overcome and my passion with bodybuilding and fitness. Ferrigno is more than just a celebrity from the 70s, too. He actually was a well-respected nutritionist and fitness coach before landing his breakaway role as the Hulk. That's what makes him such a good pick. Of course, his connection with Trump is actually from his time on The Celebrity Apprentice. Ever since then he has been a big Donald Trump supporter even despite the Hollywood haters. So let's do our part now and share this and get Lou Ferrigno the job he deserves. Trump to the rescue. Trump just called Governor Abbott and gave him gift of a lifetime. President Trump made a phone call to Texas Governor and Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards and promised to help in any way necessary with resources as Hurricane Harvey hits shores. President Trump made a phone call to Texas Governor and Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards and promised to help in any way necessary with resources as Hurricane Harvey hits shores. Trump is handling his first hurricane ahead of schedule. Here is what Governor John Bell Edwards said. This is why Trump is an amazing president. He is on top of it. And good thing. Look what is barreling down Texas coast. Trump is an amazing president and is working hard to keep the people of the country safe. Share this if you are praying for the people of Texas and Louisiana. Aren't you glad we have a president that works day in and day out for the American people? Hillary would not be doing this. She'd be asleep like in Benghazi. Thanks for reading.
showdown Nikki Haley just got up and did the one thing Iran was terrified she would do. Nikki Haley can't stop. Nikki Haley won't stop. The U.S. ambassador to the United Nations has been on the war path defending Israel from constant globalist attacks and calling out sponsors of terror like Iran and Hezbollah. But this time she's really nailed it. Haley arrived in Vienna on Wednesday to the headquarters of the International Atomic Energy Agency IAEA, to gain more information on Iran's compliance under Obama's nuclear deal and to also pressure Iran to halt its ballistic missile tests. The ballistic missile testing has become a sticking point for Haley and the U.S. President Trump had earlier imposed sanctions on Iran for the tests. The UN Security Resolution on the Nuclear Pact says Iran should not to undertake any activity related to ballistic missiles designed to be capable of delivering nuclear weapons, including launches using such ballistic missile technology. Haley wants the UN to impose sanctions on Iran on those grounds. The IAEA is responsible for checking if Iran is obeying the deal. Although IAEA said Iran had been passing the nuclear deal in their last inspection last month, Haley expects them to put more pressure on the country during their next inspection in October, and her visit shows that she's serious. Haley has been an awesome advocate for American interests on the world stage. Her latest move is sure to annoy Iran which means she's doing the right thing. HDCBS